Prayer for morning prayer for May 28th, Thursday, May 28th. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ the Lord has ascended into heaven. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, Christ the Lord has ascended into heaven. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Psalm 105. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the, for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God, his judgment prevail in all the world. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac, which he established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel, saying, To you will I give the land of Canaan to be your allotted inheritance. When they were few in number, of little account, and sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another, he let no one oppress them, and rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Do not touch my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Then he called for a famine in the land, and destroyed the supply of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They bruised his feet in fetters. His neck they put in an iron collar, until his prediction came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He set him as a master over his household, as a ruler over his, over his possessions, to instruct the princes according to his will, and to teach his elders wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from Ephesians. Now this I affirm and insist on in the Lord. You must no longer live as the Gentiles live in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of their ignorance and hardness of heart. They have lost all sensitivity and have abandoned themselves to licentiousness, greedy to practice every kind of impurity. That is not the way you, you learned Christ. For surely you have heard from him and were taught in him as truth is in Jesus. You were taught to put away your former way of life, your old self, corrupt and deluded by its lusts, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to clothe yourselves with the new self, created according to the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. So then, putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must give up stealing. Rather, let them labor and work honestly with their own hands so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up, as there is need so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you are marked with a seal for the day of redemption. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander, together with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ has forgiven you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Collect of the Day O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> 